Hello, Marvelites. You are watching Marvel's The Pull List, and I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this week, every week, all the time, we talk about the new comics that are coming out from Marvel. We pick a couple, we find a subject, dig in. Tucker, what are we talking about this week? This week, in honor of a very special return. One would say a, a fantastic return? It's a it's a fantastic return. So we're, we're focusing on four fantastic books. A, like a fantastic four type of, okay, cool. Like, you figured it out. I got it. We'll talk about that one last. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, Fine, we'll get right. there, we'll get there. But we'll start with the first fantastic book. This is Old Man Logan, number 45. In this issue, we get a really, really cool, super dynamic, super kinetic car crash that goes across two pages. It's huge. And it's all because of Bullseye, who is just, he's a deranged lunatic. And there's, at one point, he's like hanging out of the car and Juan draws him like driving with his foot. He's steering with his foot. He's aiming, he's causing cars to flip. He's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I Ed Brisson has kicked this story up to the next level with this arc. I think it's been incredible. Uh, I think Logan and Bullseye are just strangely perfect foils for each other. They're opposites in the best ways. Uh, it just adds up to something really, really special and super unique. Darth Vader in Star Wars, Darth Vader number 19. This is the early beginning of our introduction to the fortress that Darth Vader builds and goes to on Mustafar. It's a place where he kind of goes to channel the force uh, and to kind of recharge his dark Batteries. Yeah, his mojo. <laughs> um, he gets that going. This book uh, includes one of your favorite places in any galaxy, mm -hmm. which is Vader's mindscape. Yeah. But I love the depiction of it. It's always just like rage. He's just pulling from this sea of, like you said, anger. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's just realized visually yeah. so well. He's going with his Inquisitorious. They're just hunting Jedi who escaped the purge. There's a, a baby involved and it's just, wow. The next up, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number 35. This is sort of the culmination of all the relationship, the friendship stuff between Squirrel Girl and Craven. It's difficult for Squirrel Girl to reconcile what she knows of Craven as this friend of hers, as a good person who has helped her, helped people, versus the dude who literally hunted Spider-Man and buried him alive. And she's trying to put the together and it, she she can't. Yeah, it's incredible. Ryan North is firing on all cylinders and Derek Charm is kicking it up to the next level again. I mean, he's he's joined this series and has been so wonderful. Rico Renzi's colors in here are so vivid and perfect. This is a book that really adds up to more than the sum of its parts. Yeah, speaking of a book that's more than the sum of its parts, we've got Fantastic Four and it's got three stories, which is one less than four. You know that Dan Slott who's the writer, just off of 10 years of Spider-Man, he gets into a book and he goes full bore. He loves these characters, he knows these characters, he gets fully engulfed in their stories. Willie Lumpkin shows up in this, Impossible Man shows up in this, classic other Fantastic Four members, Wyatt Wingfoot, just so many cool things. On top of that, you've got the, maybe my favorite panel in comics this year, which is Ben Grimm, The Thing Covered in Kittens. Sarah Pichelli draws Ben Grimm in such a specific and beautiful way. I mean, he's he's huge, he's massive, but you know, he has this like soft core to him. She just captures uh, old blue eyes so, so well. He's the heart of the Marvel Universe. Yeah, this yeah. is the heart of the Marvel Universe. Yeah. The family of the Marvel Universe. I'm so excited by this book. You can hear about this book and many more on Marvel's The Polis, the podcast version on marvel.com, wherever you get your podcast. We'll be back with another episode next week. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. This is Marvel, your universe.